Well, let's take a look at these three algorithms. They produce the exact same distance field, just shifted a bit. If you don't know what a distance field is, I did a video on it. I'll leave a link in the description below or a, uh, a card on the top right. So the first guy here says distance, two points. So let's say the green guy has a distance, or excuse me, a value of 0 0.2, 0 0.2. So this is the 0 0.2, 0 0.2 pixel. The red guy is right in the center, so 0 0.5, 0 0.5, that's its value. All the distance function says is given two points, I'll give you the distance between the two. This length function says given one point, I'll find you the distance between that point and the zero, zero point. So this point right here. So the length function gives us this distance right here. And this final algorithm is just the uh, Pythagorean theorem. That's the same thing as this, x squared plus y squared. Actually, let's write it like this, a squared plus b squared is equal to c squared, a bit neater. So all it says is given some sort of x, given some sort of y, this would be the x, given the y, I find the, uh, the hypotenuse for you. So we isolate the hypotenuse, or h squared, by taking the square root of these two guys right here. Let's go into the code and actually see how these guys work. So the first algorithm we're going to use is that uh, distance uh, function. So given any point on the canvas, I'll compare it to the, uh, the 0 0.5 uh, point, and this is what we get. So let me just uncomment this line. That's the uh, distance field. This is what it looks like. And then we can, uh, actually, before we use the smooth step, let me just show you all three then. So that's the uh, distance function. This is the length function here. And as you can see, it's over here because it's comparing to the 0, 0, rather than the 0 0.5. In order to get this to the 0, 0, we can just do this, vec 2, 0 0.5, like that. But we'll leave it native for now. So that is the exact same as this guy, if this guy was a zero. So we can uncomment this, you get the exact same field. Let's put this back to 0 0.5. All right, let's check out the last algorithm, the Pythagorean theorem, produces the exact same effect as the, the length guy. And again, we can change that by doing this, 0 0.5 and 0 0.5. Let's put it back to uh, this right here. So how do we produce a circle out of these guys? Well, we're going to use the, uh, the smooth step function. Let's use uh, this right here. So let's use the smooth step function to produce a circle. If you don't know what smooth step is and step, I did a video on that. I'll have a link in the description below or a, a card on the top right. So we're just going to say circle is equal to smooth step. And we're just going to say, let's say 0 0.7. See what that looks like. 0 0.7, 0 0.703. And we'll feed in the circle. There we go. And let's do... It's pretty large. Let's do this. Let's do 0 0.9 or 8. Let's see what 8 looks like. Nope, still too large. Let's go 2. 0 0.2, 0 0.2. There we go. So that's what a circle looks like using the uh, the smooth step. Let's reverse the colors. So just to reverse the colors, we can just do 1.0. Right here, 1.0 minus the circle. And this is going to alter the uh, the smooth step calculations, these values. So let's say 9 and 9 here. All right, so we got a, a white circle on a black background, or you can just say all one values here, all zero values here. And so before I let you go, let's create a function that draws circles. Let's go up here, we'll say, we'll return the whole thing, so a color plus the circle value. So what I mean by that is the float times a color right here. Canvas happens to be a color white. So well, let me just show you. So function, not function, excuse me, vec3 get circle. We want, let's say, a position, so vec2 position. We want a color, so vec3 is going to be the color. And then we want the size, which is going to be a float size. And we will use, let's use the Pythagorean theorem guy. So first we have to get the distance field calculated, which is this right here. And then we modify this with the position, so position dot x, position dot y, dot y. And then we'll do the color. So we're just going to return the color times the circle. And let's use that guy here. Actually, before we do that, let's take the smooth step as well. So just cut this line out. Paste that line here. And the smooth step is going to be the size. We'll say size plus what would it be? be 0 0.003. We'll try that. And 1.0 minus the, uh, the value we got here. So we'll say float circle that'll be our circle and the circle smooth stepping perfect and then we return the color times the circle 
and that should be good. So let's use it in the actual body of the function. So instead of this line here, cross that out. I'm just going to say vec3, let's say circle, we already have a circle here, let's say circle2 is equal to get circle position, so vec2, let's say 0 0.5, 0 0.5, say vec3 for color, let's say 1.0, and I'll use something later, we'll see. And the size will do 0 0.9. And then we'll say canvas, and we'll say add, so plus equal that circle2. Let's make our canvas black. So circle two, canvas black, right here. And let's get a color going right here with this guy. And it's not working because we need the ST right here. So ST minus that, there we go. So let's just change that color here. And that looks good. And let's change the position here, right up there. And let's make uh, two more. So copy this line. Paste, paste, this will be circle three, and circle four, and we'll move circle three, actually let's do this first, plus equals, plus circle three, plus circle four, and we'll move this guy over here, and we'll move this guy over here, we'll change the color. And let's go pink with this guy. Then we'll just change the sizes. Anyways, this is how you create a, a circle, using distance field and then using smooth step to uh, create some boundaries, the edges. We can blur the edges, we can have them sharp like this. Let's say 0 0.7 or 8 for this guy, 0 0.7 for this guy. Anyways, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already subscribed, and I will see you guys in the next one.